Hi. Hello. Welcome to day 14. We're on day 14 and we are in the middle. Oh, I look like shit. Wang. We're in the middle of Colombo Street. Colombo Street. Colombo Street. So, just a little, little bit of history about Colombo Street. It was part of the original plan. It runs for 6.2 kilometers, basically from Beely all the way down to Kashmir. Um, and it was always designed to be the main center of, or well, the main road of Christchurch. Um, it was named after uh, a Anglican bishop, Colombo, who uh, was in Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka at the time, and now he has a city named after him, but at the time was not named in his name, if that made sense. Yeah. I know nothing about Colombo. Colombo! I'm just on the street, in a little thingy. Yeah, we're, we're in a safe spot. And awesome. this is the new cinema, and this is the um, bus thing. The Metro Exchange. Metro Exchange. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hello, oh. everybody. So, Wayne, time to talk about disasters. Ooh. 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 What kind of disasters do you know about in Christchurch? A couple. A couple? Yeah. Yeah? Which one happened uh, in 2011? Well, that one's, that one's in there. Well, it was also 2010, yeah, wasn't it? Was 2011 and 12? 2010 and 11. 10 and 11. September yeah. and. Yeah. yeah, September 4th and so, February 21st. Obviously, most people in recent history remember the earthquakes. Earthquakes, we've had the mosque shooting, unfortunately. Which was, again, more recent. But in what year, Wayne? 1947. 1947, yay. Behind us is the Valentine's building. Valentine's! And as you may know, Ooh. in 1947, there was a fire. Obviously the building did not look anything like this. No. Um, and it was more old Gothic Victorian sort of style looking. And unfortunately, that fire killed 41 people. Mm -hmm. And to this day is still the largest fire in New Zealand. Well, the largest number of deaths. So Christchurch actually has a lot of uh, high death counts for events, which yeah. is quite strange. Why are we living here again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So once again, we happen to be close to the lovely Christchurch Cathedral. Mm. Um, basically, there is a reason for that though. <laughs> so, As opposed to the other times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you may or may not know, but historically, churches um, were built oh. towards one direction. Yeah. So they were always built towards the east because that's where um, they believe, you know, Jesus came from or whatever. So, they built the churches towards a particular direction. And apparently it doesn't matter which place or which side of that is, doesn't matter, you just always face east. So what they wanted to do with Colombo Street and the cathedral is they wanted to have the doorsteps right up the front of Colombo Street. So as you came up Colombo Street, you would see this grand cathedral. Then obviously years went by and now we have closed off that area. It is now a square or a, a closed off walking pedestrian area only. But that was just a little bit of history around that. And look at the trees, they're changing yeah. colour. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! <laughs> oh, hello! Hello! We could not go on Colombo Street and not talk about peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. Ooh, Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. It's one of the only places that actually sells um, sex toys yeah. in Christchurch. Yeah. In an actual physical location, anyway. Yeah, everything else is mm. just, yeah. Um, actually, I guess, interesting historical fact about sex toys and sex products, they were one of the first people to embrace uh, e-commerce. Because obviously people were afraid to go to stores and buy stuff. Yeah. Um, and then it wasn't until the magnificent place like Peaches and Cream, how do I know this stuff? I don't know. Um, came around and re-rejigged the way in which they were thinking about it, that it became just like a normal sort of thing to do. Um, also, there's 11 um, heritage buildings oh, on Columbus Street. Oh, and a bus. Street. Giant bus behind us. Big bus. Big bus. Big red bus. So, yeah, there's 11 um, heritage buildings on Colombo Street. Yeah, so outside our bubble, way down the other end of Colombo Street, and the uh, Sydenham side, there are 11, most of the 11 heritage buildings, um, which is a, probably a really, another really cool place to do some history, but that will be for someone else to do, not us. Yeah. Plus, on the plus side, we also want to do a big shout out to um, Reform here. They've just opened up in um, 
Just yeah, on Colombo here. Yeah, yeah, the light, the light is hard. real. <laughs> so a big shout out to them. It's going to be hard, obviously, for them to come back into um, into business once once everything kind of stems down. If you don't know who they are, check them out online. Can't see. We might even tag them. Yeah, tag, tag, tag. Oh, so bright, but look at the angles. I oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> so one thing I will note today, there is a lot more traffic and a lot more people on the out and about and doing whatever's. Um, I understand that we're walking and we're contributing to that, but this is probably the highest number we've seen today. Not to mention, road rules still apply, people. Don't be fucking idiots. <laughs>